Alrighty guys, um, here I am with part two of my, how would you say, Lovey Smith, not good as a coach for the Chicago Bears rant. Um, I just finished with part one, so here it goes. Um, I'll be quite honest with you, Lovey Smith, I've never really liked him, I never I could really care less for him as far as the head coach, and I had an email, uh, someone just sent it to me. Here it is. I don't want to give this person's name, so here it goes. Um, I'm a big Chicago Bears fan, and I don't really care much for Lovey Smith. I don't like the guy. I want someone else. Um, I want someone else to come in and take his place. Which uh, coach right now in the present day do you think should take Lovey Smith? Um, take Lovey Smith's place. Um, I would go with Mike Singletary primarily because I think he's one of the best guys who have ever played the game. Who do you choose? Well, this is going to be a bit of a long shot, so here it goes. I'm going to go with Mike Shanahan from the Denver Broncos primarily because he's uh, he's uh, he's a pretty good coach, and I think he has um, he has what it takes to help take the Bears and turn them around. He'll uh, he'll do just that. So if and when, hopefully soon, Lovey Smith gets out of the um, gets out of my hometown of Chicago. I'd love to see um, I'd love to see Shanahan take the reins of the uh, monsters in the midway and see what he can do. Here's, here's what you got uh, for the Chicago Bears. You got a Jay Cutler. I mean, um, yeah, you got Jay Cutler. You got Brian Urlacher. You got David Terrell. You got Musha Muhammad. You got um, you got Hunter Hellenmeyer. You got Matt Forte. You got um, you got Nathan Vasher. Oh, even even Alex Brown. You got eight guys. You got eight guys who can play potentially good ball, but problem being, their um, their um, offense is so-so, and their defense isn't all that great. As, as of late, and most I've seen was color to Forte, and Forte moves only maybe two centimeters, and he gets um, he gets 50 people jumping on him. So um, here's what I think: if uh, Mike Shanahan were to come in and take Lovey's place. Um, with the Denver Broncos, the only person I'm only, I'm only familiar with two people, Clinton Portis and uh, Brandon Marshall, two incredible athletes and two of the greatest that the Denver's ever seen. But here's what you get: um, with um, Matt Forte, Matt Forte in the backfield and the downfield options that color now brings to the table. This would force the defense to no longer so, be so stacked, so to say. Open holes for Forte all over the field. Get Forte wide open on the field, throw the ball, and have him run more than two centimeters before having half the team jump on him. If I were Shanahan, that's what I would do. Create enough room for when you throw the ball to the guy, there's plenty of room for him to grab the ball, go running, and score a touchdown. Easy. Now, as long as... As long as you see something like that happen, that would be great. Plus, with uh, plus with Shanahan being from uh, being from Illinois, I think he was. From, I think he's from Oak Park. Um, at least from what I can see as a coach, this is a guy who has what it takes to um, take a take a position of coaching a new team and taking greater lengths than what we've ever seen. Because he's, because I think he's. Uh, that's the passion and the fire that a new head coach has to exhibit. So, uh, to take a guy like Mike Shanahan and put him in as the as the new coach, great. And unfortunately, that passion and that desire and that fire that Mike Shanahan says that he has, or at least I'm saying he has also. Unfortunately, Lovey doesn't have it. He's got and the only thing I can see that Lovey has is looking all over the place whenever the, whenever he's on the field and when he's in an interview because he's having the three quarters of sleep drowsy look on his face all the time. So um, while uh, while Lovey Smith's looking all over the place, not knowing how to hold a coach a game, and looking half asleep every time he's in an interview or during a uh, press conference, take a guy like Mike Shanahan who's going over all these game plans and hey. You do this, you do that, you do this, you do that, and the rest of you go out there, kick some ass, and score some points. Um, 
uh, when you take guys like on the Denver Broncos, you got Alonda Garrett, you got Mike Anderson, you got Terrell Davis, you have you have all these guys that go a thousand plus yards, you know, a thousand plus yard rushers, and you take guys like these and put them on the Bears, you'll have one hell of a team. But um, unfortunately, we're not going to see that again. Um, and another reason why I would choose Shanahan is he's what I like to call a proven winner. Um, something that um, something that my uh, hometown of Chicago hasn't seen since um, since Michael Jordan last took the Bulls to a final, and since the White Sox won the World Series in 2005, and ever since Cubs and the White Sox both won the division in 2008. Ever since Chicago's been nowhere, uh, the city of losers, as we like to call my hometown. But um, what I propose is this. Jerry Angelo, for the love of God, say goodbye to Lovey Smith, please. His traditionalism and Ron Turner and Ron Turner's inept abilities to call every wrong play in the friggin' book. Get rid of it. Please, I'm begging you. Get rid of it. My hometown doesn't need this for the pairs for another we don't need to suffer through two more years of losing season. I mean, come on, huh? Well, with Shanahan, here's a guy with true Chicago grit, grittiness and the ability to get the most out of his running game. If you don't believe me, watch how the Broncos have been playing over the past several years. Like I said before, when you got when you got Terrell Davis, you got Olandis Gary, you got Mike, you got Mike Anderson, you got Clinton Portis, you got Jay Culler, you got Brandon Marshall. Hell, you even have when you even have a guy like John Elway back in the, back in the day. When you got guys like that on a team, that is a winning team. Like it or not, say what you want, I don't care. That is a winning team. And if you don't believe me, post a comment. I got all of them, I'll try and find as many articles and everything else I most possibly can to help back that argument up. And um, I'm, uh, I'm sure you wish you hadn't said any of this stuff and it makes it seem like you're just talking out of your ass and you don't know what you're talking about. So. Um, and who knows if Shanahan does a good enough job, and if he does come to Chicago, he may just be able to save Angel. He may just be able to save Jerry Angelo his job as well. So save Jerry Angelo his, kiss Ron Turner and Lovey's goodbye, and um, um, Shanahan does good in his job. Jerry Angelo saves his, and Ron and Ron Turner and Lovey Smith kiss theirs goodbye, and hopefully, hopefully that happens. And um, those of you that are Broncos fans and or Mike Shanahan fans, uh, post a comment, subscribe, and uh, let me know what you think. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.